so it begins. My second ever vlog and my first ever official vlog, because I'm actually gonna be using GoPro footage this time. I'm using my phone right now, but. Uh, I'm gonna be going to Cleveland, Columbus, Dayton, and Cincinnati. So I'm gonna be going to four Ohio cities. I'm, I'm gonna be going all across Ohio. The fall colors, it's gonna be great, and uh, see you guys over there. All right, so I stopped at the Denver airport, and why does this remind me so much of Paul Blart Mall Club? Where are you at, Kevin James? Interesting structure. Of course, airports uh, usually have some, some pretty neat architecture going for it. It's currently 1 a.m. in uh, Cleveland Airport, and it's absolutely dead. It's more dead than Soldier Boy's rap career. I mean, look at this. I have the whole airport to myself. Reason why I'm staying at the airport is because I had an Airbnb, but a uh, host had to cancel because, you know, COVID is a thing, so unfortunately I'll stay. I'm staying overnight at the airport, and I'm probably not going to get too much sleep tonight, but it's all good. I'm used to this. Whenever I travel, I don't really get much sleep anyway, so we're chilling. All right, so I just took a train um, that was supposed to go to Cleveland, but I stopped halfway through because there's a Burger King, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, Taco Bell right, right here, right at the stop, and look at this blue fluorescent light. There's one of the bridges at least. We're on the other bridge. And downtown Cleveland. Alright, so I'm a little embarrassed, right? So I took a train from uh, the airport to downtown. And uh, they weren't charging me inside the train. I'm like, is this free? Really? And then I get to, uh, to one of my stops, to the downtown stop. And then everyone's walking through the gates and they have tickets. I'm like, uh... I don't have a ticket. I didn't actually say that directly at first. I was looking around like I was confused. And the lady at the gate was looking at me like, like I was crazy. She's like, I'm like, oh, I'm just trying to get out. Uh, did you get a ticket? No, I can pay for it right now if you need. And then this police officer just directed me to the pay station. A uh, very nice guy. And he asked me if I was from around here. I said, no, I'm from California. And he said, what the heck are you doing here? <laughs> uh, but yeah, as I speak though, I'm standing, hold on, as I speak, I am standing outside of a, a window here showing uh, the industrial side of Cleveland, I guess, uh, not, you know, the downtown part, so I'll get to that. All right, so at first, I thought this was a city hall, and I'm like, no way a city hall can be that tall, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm surrounded by other pretty decently sized buildings maybe not you know maybe not comparable to places like Boston or LA or New York but you know it's something home of the most depressing NFL franchise in NFL history right there Cleveland freaking Browns ah yes here's this bad boy pretty de pretty decently sized stadium not gonna lie of course football stadiums in general are pretty large in scale but this one is one of the cooler ones. And then of course you got downtown Cleveland all the way over there. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a, a glimpse of uh, the inside of the building. I can't actually go inside, but. And you got your uh, Legends placards here. Let's be honest, not very many. <laughs> I don't know why, I just like to keep, I like to make fun of the Browns. But uh, you got, okay, you got a decent amount of, uh, decent amount of Browns Hall of Famers here, I guess, but uh, the big question is, where the hell is Johnny Football? Dude, that dude was the best quarterback of all time. Clearly, he should be on here, right? Still don't see him. Still don't see him. Still don't see him. Where's Johnny Football? Where is he? Where is he? Nah, he's not on there. That's a shame. And of course, we've got Lake Erie. I mean, it doesn't look that special from, from this uh, point of view here, but I mean, camera doesn't do it that much justice. It's pretty nice. I was just here talking about how there was nothing to see here in Cleveland because all I was looking at was that. And also I went to the uh, Brown Stadium, obviously I showed you guys that, but you turn and look this way, that's more like it. That feels more like a downtown. I mean, yeah, this truly feels like a downtown area now. All right guys, look at, look at this gem that I found here. 
I was just gonna go to this field and then I was gonna go to uh, Quicken Loans Arena, well now called Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse is literally right there, bro. It's literally right next to the fucking baseball stadium. I mean, that's nothing too special because Philadelphia has all their sports stadiums in one little lot. Well, it's not a little lot, but yeah. So I'm just gonna show this view real quick of uh, the inside of the stadium. Okay, so there's the uh, Indian Stadium, of course. Here's the quick, formerly known as the Quicken Loans Arena for the cows. And there's roof access? What? No way. That way I can get an even better view of Cleveland. No way. Look at this. This is definitely going to be like, okay, this could definitely make for like a, a parkour video if I even know how to do parkour. But, uh, interesting stuff. Let's see if I can get a good view of the stadium. Just, uh, slip my phone underneath here. And we got it. Look at that view, man. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. So I pondered going over there, but I'm like, no way, dude. That's way too narrow. I thought I heard footsteps, but anyway. No, it's way too narrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb on top of this railing, climb on top of that thing, and jump on there. Let's see if it'll work. Dude, I fucking did it. I climbed over that. <laughs> and uh, I stepped on that railing, or that, that little ledge there, and just jumped on here. I'm chilling right now. I'm hard chilling. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, just, just, just look. Just look at this. Crazy. Managed to get a front row seat. Front row view. All right guys, I think I've officially gone crazy. So not only did I climb over that little space and had to jump sideways to make the platform. And you know, there's a lot of freaking bottom underneath me. But also, I'm just on this rooftop right here and I, I just decided to, you know, run blocks around this rooftop. And, I also decided to do this. Literally running to that wall, jumping off of it, pushing off with the foot. Just cause, just cause it's fun. It's fun to do. See, I'll demonstrate it to you guys right now. Kids, do not try this at home. Woo. And I'm also at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, cause why not? Notorious B.I.G. and Depeche Mode, those are two names I recognize. Nine Inch Tail, or Nine Inch Nails. I almost said Tails. Whew. It's pretty neat. All decked out in rock and roll shit. And a hot dog, because why not? I'm going to venture down here to see what exactly is down here. Sirius XM. Exhibition Hall, because why not? And uh, this is free, actually. Didn't have to pay to get in, so. Or do I? Damn, dude. It's actually free to get in. The origins of rock and roll. Got a bunch of, uh, you know, information about rock and roll and shit. Of course, uh, got uh, John Lennon over there. All right, so funny little side story. Um, so once I finished with this exhibit i planned on going back to my airbnb but after i finished the exhibit i just decided to to sit on a bench and charge my phone for a little bit and chill but i decided to close my eyes for a little bit because i was dead tired and also kind of dehydrated because the last time i had water was from starbucks like three hours prior and then i closed my eyes for a little bit and next thing i knew i was asleep and i woke up like almost an hour later i'm like what the fuck i actually fell asleep here and i had the biggest migraine when I woke up and I also felt very lightheaded and I felt like I was about to pass out and I literally walked outside of the place and I, I felt like it was an out-of-body experience like it kind of felt surreal that's how tired and dehydrated I was but then I came to and then I uh, got some water and started walking back home and now I make the long and lonely walk downtown Statway long and lonely walk from this trail all the way down here I mean, we do have a nice view of the bridge, though. But, uh, yeah, my Airbnb is 
about 30 minutes away and uh yeah i'm just walking over there just to save a little bit of uh save a little bit of the cash but uh yeah it's a nice walk actually i'm approaching a very industrial part of town to say the very least uh yeah this is uh really not the most not the most ideal place to walk it's not the prettiest but uh we move dude it turned from constructional site to resident residential area fucking fast look at this this is all of a sudden a really decently looking residential area what the fuck ohio dude this town got gradually more and more beautiful look at this as i went further and further southbound you'd think that if you go further and further southbound you get more and more dangerous but actually no i'm already past the uh the uh you know sketchy suburban sprawl okay small towns during the fall are pretty enough but tremont has really impressed me so far and i did butcher the name by the way it is tremont but just when i thought it couldn't get any better look at this it's a freaking fence tunnel that goes all the way down and you get to see all the trees and shit surrounding you Uh, hope there it is. Hope there it is. The Christmas story house. Dude, people come and drive and park just to see the house. But yeah, there it is. Great movie. All right, so I'm heading over to a bus stop that'll take me to Brexville, close to Cuyahoga National Park. Have a few groceries here. Probably not the best idea to be carrying them around, but I'm trying to see if I can get a little peek around to where the bus stop is. And then I'll. Yeah, this area is kind of sketch, not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna head over somewhere else. All right, just sitting here with some groceries from the local family dollar. Just sitting by a little fencing here, waiting for a bus to come. Oh, by the way, there's a freeway down there too and a bridge. It's pretty nice, but um, yeah, just waiting for the bus to come. Let's get it. I took a bus from my Airbnb, like 15 minutes south of Cleveland, all the way to, uh, I think, it's called Broadway Heights. Yeah, Broadway Heights. Uh, that was the last bus stop, unfortunately. So I'm going to be taking an Uber to uh, Brexville Reservation. I I was planning on going to Cuyahoga National Park today, but I figured, you know, it's such a big it's such a big area. So I'm going to spread it out across two days. Uh, but tomorrow, I'm going to explore the deep depths of Cuyahoga National Park, especially Boston, Boston, Ohio, formerly known as Helltown. There's a lot of uh, a lot of local legends surrounding that place. A couple of ghost stories too that I'm gonna plan on debunking as I do have a uh, EMF meter and a digital voice recorder. So that's gonna be good. But um, yeah, I'm literally sitting underneath a fucking gas station right now as I'm waiting for my Uber to take me to Brexville. So. Your boy has arrived. Brexville Reservation right here. This is pretty much the start of the path to Cuyahoga National Park. Cuyahoga Valley National Park, but yeah, this is the Brexville Reservation. <sighs> Amazing. Also, I started recording here because I saw a deer right there. Watch, look, 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 look. It's a deer. It's a deer. Oh, I'm I'm zooming in the wrong place. It's a deer. Oh, it's running away from me now. Okay. I don't know, man. This is just, uh... Oh, well, now it's going in the direction that I'm walking at, so... I guess you're gonna have to eternally keep running that direction, unless you go that way. Okay. Deers are, are one of my spirit animals. Uh, mainly because sometimes... In life... Uh, I like to wander around, roam around, but at times I do get lost, you know, the proverbial deer in the headlights. And I have had moments in my life where I have felt like a deer in the headlights. Um, but, you know, just being able to be here, uh, you know, or being able to vacation anywhere really 
is it's a blessing. And I know a lot of people don't have that luxury. A lot of people are, you know, struggling paycheck to paycheck in their shoddy little area. And, you know, I'm blessed to be able to, you know, have the luxury to travel. You know, I saved up money for this trip as well as the other trips I made back in the day to, you know, Boston and I, I pretty much travel twice a year and I'm, I'm very grateful to, to be able to have that luxury, you know. Make, making my way over to a closed picnic area because uh, I'm a gangster like that. Got some snacks. I'm going to sit down here because there's nobody in the vicinity. I don't think there's going to be anybody guarding the area. But I also have to say, dude, th th look at this. Th this is great. Look, all these colors and shit. This is great. Like, this is not something you'd see in California unless you go to... I don't know, some of the foresty areas, but even the foresty areas don't have all these, you know, bursting colors. All right, you know what? Fuck the rules. <laughs> I'm going through. I may, like, I may encounter a critter or two, or I may step on some droppings or two, but... All right, so I ventured pretty deep into the heart of the forest here. Now we're starting to reach the, the mossy rocks and stuff like that. And, uh... A little bit of a trail down there too. I'll probably just walk walk down there for a little, and then after that I'll call it a night and get back on the trail. Oh shit! I almost slipped. Welling Creek. I don't actually walk. Yeah, I was walking through. There was a little opening down there. I wasn't walking through here necessarily, or did I? No, I didn't. All right, last video in the Brexville Park. I promise you guys, but. Yeah, I ended up crossing the street, walking through this trail, and there's a couple of inscriptions right there. Interesting. There's a trail down there, trail down there, and an overlook over here. I was trying to get a, a bird's eye view somewhere, at least close to one, but yeah, this is it right here. Bird's eye view of some of the beautiful trees in the area. I don't know why I decided to have my accent transition into a Russian one or a Belarusian one or something like that but yeah I'm just gonna walk down this little trail here fucking beautiful dude it's slightly uh, the uh, foliage is slightly past its peak but that only makes for fun leaf walking like this look at that it's cool you know I'm different like that all right so that's a trail right I didn't realize I was this close to the picnic area but the area that I actually went inside of the trees was before that picnic area down there. It was like right in between. It was like right around here. Yep, that's the way I came in. I'm just sitting, sitting on this uh, road closed blockade thingy. And I got the best view of all. Look at this shit. This is one of the best views of the entire Brexville, tri uh, Brexville Reservation trip. And I'm just waiting for my Uber to just slide back around and pick me up. But... I just had to capture this. This was amazing. And that'll be it for part one of this vlog. Stay tuned next time as I will be going through Cuyahoga National Park, as well as a little bit of a stop in Helltown, Ohio. So that should be pretty fun and kind of sketchy. Stay awesome, everybody. See you guys next time.